In this video, we'll take a deeper look at the Cut and Fill tool within the Mosher app. So let's quickly run through the key stages of a volume measurement. First, measure the perimeter. Return to the starting point without ending the measurement. Change the path type to points. Capture points within the perimeter. Focus on capturing changes in elevation across the space. Use a zigzag or spiral method for the best results. Once satisfied with the points captured, return to the measurement start point for improved accuracy. Once you've returned to the measurement start point, you can now finish the measurement. Once the measurement is complete, tap the 3D surface icon. You'll see the surface area and volume calculations down below. The volume calculation is based on the lowest point of the measurement. Now open the edit menu and find the cut and fill tool. The cut and fill tool is used for determining the amount of material to be excavated, cut or added fill to achieve desired levels. The customer wants the yard to be level with the patio. We can simply tap cut in order to set the cut volume to zero resulting in a fill calculation of 880.5 cubic yards. We now know the amount of material we'd need to bring in in order to level the yard to the highest point of the measurement. Alternatively, the customer may want the yard to be leveled down to the lowest point. To determine the volume of material that needs removing from the yard, tap Fill to set it to zero. This gives us a cut calculation of 1147.2 cubic yards this is the volume of material that needs removing from the yard in order to level the area to its lowest point. Now let's say we don't want to bring any material in or take any material away from us. If we tap net, the cut and fill values become equal, resulting in an approximate net volume of zero. This means that the amount of soil removed, 158.2 cubic yards, is balanced by the amount of soil added 158.2 cubic yards. It helps create a level surface for the yard while maintaining overall volume equilibrium. Finally, we have level, where we can set the desired level of the yard based on your first point, which is zero. A level of zero would require 0.8 cubic yards cut and 663.3 cubic yards filled. The slider down below can be used to dynamically change the cut and fill values if you want to visually check plane changes.